I'm Anne Marie, and I'm here because I joined Metabolic Balance about to 16 weeks ago. I'm 20 pounds lighter, and I just never realized what a difference that would make on my body to be 20 pounds lighter. Like, I guess maybe that, yeah, like, it's just, it's exciting. I did the, uh, the yo-yo game for several years before, and well, it's not that a yo-yo, it's just that your weight, like, you kept saying I, I want to lose weight I want to lose weight and you would try to be careful all week and then um, or you just not it's just not coming off and then you just feel frustrated because it's never you're never seeing what you want to see now that I've been on metabolic balance for a while I can see I can understand how food works and I can understand why I was having the struggles I was having and I can understand how I can use food to, I mean, use food properly. Don't have to think about the food so much and you're not getting those wild swings of food, sugar highs and lows so that you're not um, having to now go searching for food or being tempted to have food that you don't really want to have just because you just need food now. I get a lot of the sugar, the sugar highs and lows and so then you would be wanting to be so careful but then you're just crashing and you get to the point where I just need to eat now and so now I understand why and I understand you know how it happens and um, so I can control that a lot better now and there's a lot of freedom and in hindsight can look at my co-workers as you know the 1030 crash comes and they're like walking towards the canteen you know and they have to get their fix and I understand why they have to get their fix because they probably didn't have the proper balance of proteins and carbs in the morning so now they didn't hold them off for five hours so um, I can see that they're getting that crash and they're having to go and supplement yeah and then everyone has their lunch and then everyone around 2 30 starts migrating to the canteen again and you can you know you just it's like clockwork I've done other programs I don't know if we're supposed to mention them I've done the Weight Watchers I grew up in a home of Weight Watchers I watched my mom struggle with that her like you know it was just yeah it was a lot you know the going back to it and going back to it weight gain weight lose weight gain weight the science of learning how to eat is definitely more of a lifestyle change. Having a balanced protein, like having protein at every meal, the, and the amounts is balanced when you look and see how the protein is balanced with the same weight of fruits and vegetables. And so you can see how there's meant to be a balance of some kind. This weekend I went away camping and so obviously you're not in the same kind of environment where you can have access to prepare that balance plan and I could I was experiencing deja vu of what it used to be like I could feel those crashes come just a couple of hours later because I knew I hadn't eaten the balanced way I almost looked forward to coming back from a weekend of camping and getting back to normal and getting back to the eating the way I know makes me feel better. They're supporting each other and it's encouraging to see it working for other people as well. Talking about our struggles, realizing that it's it's a reprogramming and it's not going to come automatically, but uh, it's working. So that's encouraging to see it working in others as well as yourselves. My husband was doing it for health reasons. And so I knew that it's, it would be really good to do it as a couple to support him. And uh, he wasn't doing it for weight loss as much for health. And, but for me, yeah, no, I was just frustrated mm -hmm. to no end at uh, always wanting to have to lose some weight and it never happening. Mm -hmm. Surprising thing is I surprised myself in, in how I could re turn down food that I knew wasn't going to help me. I was just able to say no thanks. Because I don't need to eat and I'm sustained. And it was just kind of a weird 
that's the freeing feeling. Like you're not always feeling hungry. You're not always feeling, okay, it's time for my snack. I need to get food. You're not always thinking food for like four or five hours. You're actually not thinking about eating. You're satisfied. It was surprising for me watching friends have big bowls of ice cream and I was kind of like, okay with that. It makes life easier. It's for living, not living for food. You're surprised by how satisfied you are with stir fry veggies and meat. As you learn to maintain and you're learning to expand because now you can introduce new foods and you're just trying to see what works for your body now and you get to see how you can make it work. No, it's, uh, it's great. Lucy is good at answering questions or getting the answers. Certain that I do have a lot more confidence and I'm very excited. I think it's going to be helpful for new people coming in. I mean, uh, we can give them some, some advice, some encouragement. Our programming and our habits and it's a struggle. It's not easy. It's around everywhere. And so you're, you're breaking the habits of not nibbling. Learning not to nibble or n learning not to like just do unconscious eating all the time. You feel enslaved to food when your body is out of control. You got more control over your body when you know what how to feed it properly. Just, yeah, I'm really excited about it and I mean, I think people can see a change in me and you know, I'm just knowing how it works and knowing how um, I'm more satisfied with the way it works, um, I want to maintain it. But I'm just excited about how I feel and yeah, excellent. Tenth.